Thank you very much. It's a great honor and privilege for me to join you at this historic occasion on the inauguration of His Excellency President Mohammed Abdullahi Farmajo. Your Excellency, I want to thank you most sincerely for uh, extending an invitation for me to join you today and for the warm reception and hospitality accorded to me and my delegation since our arrival in Mogadishu. Your Excellency, I bring you and through you, the people of Somalia, greetings from their brothers and sisters in Kenya and on my own behalf and that of the people of Kenya, I express our hearty congratulations to you, Your Excellency, on your election as the ninth president of the federal government of Somalia. I also, Your Excellency, want to extend similar compliments to the people of this brotherly country for the successful conduct of your elections. You have made our region, the continent of Africa, and those that cherish peaceful transition of power across the world very proud. <laughs> Similarly, allow me to take this early opportunity to express my appreciation to the outgoing president his Excellency Hassan Sheikh Mahmoud, my friend and brother, for the achievements of his administration over the last four years. I particularly want to single out his statementship that facilitated a peaceful and orderly transfer of power from one administration to another. The successful elections and peaceful transfer of power is a clear demonstration of the desire and ability of the people of Somalia to make their own decisions, to strengthen governance, and to build sustainable peace. Your Excellencies, since assuming office in 2013, my administration has worked closely with the federal government of Somalia. Based on discussions held during the state visit by President Hassan Sheikh in 2013, we have deepened and expanded our bilateral relations. Today, I wish to reaffirm the commitment of my administration to continue building on the sound bilateral relations that exist between our two nations and our two peoples. It is therefore my earnest hope and that of the people of Kenya that the new administration will work with us to consolidate gains made and expand as well as deepen areas of cooperation. Your Excellency, you assume office at a time of great expectation for Somalia. The Somali people have spoken and have great expectations of your administration. This is both here and in the diaspora. There is no doubt that Somalia has turned the corner and we as your neighbors rejoice in this reality. However, Mr. President, you also assume office as we face, as we are faced with enormous challenges. We are in a fragile region that is currently engulfed by a severe drought. We are collaborating also to restore regional stability. Our region is threatened by many external interests, including foreign terrorist actors and agents, and we face the threat of transnational and cross-border crimes. I am confident and pray that God will grant you strength, wisdom, 
and courage to deal with it or in a fragile region that is currently engulfed by a severe drought. We are collaborating also to restore regional stability. Our region is threatened by many external interests, including foreign terrorist actors and agents, and we face the threat of transnational and cross-border crimes. I am confident and pray that God will grant you strength, wisdom, and courage to deal with in a fragile region that is currently engulfed by a severe drought. We are collaborating also to restore regional stability. Our region is threatened by many external interests, including foreign terrorist actors and agents, and we face the threat of transnational and cross-border crimes. I am confident and pray that God will grant you strength, wisdom, and courage to deal with these challenges together with us. In this regard, I want to assure you once again, Mr. President, of Kenya's support. My administration will remain steadfast in our contribution towards the search for sustainable peace in Somalia and the realization of the aspirations of our brothers and sisters, including reconciliation and sustainable peace. It is in the light of this that Kenya is part of the African mission in Somalia, and we shall continue to work with other AMISOM troop-contributing countries, as well as the international community, to create an enabling environment for reconstruction, development, and sustainable peace in Somalia. Kenya also remains committed to the realization of a peaceful, stable, and prosperous region. And I therefore call upon the Intergovernmental Authority on Development, the African Union, and the international community to focus attention on Somalia and extend the necessary support to the new administration. A stable and prosperous Somalia will play a significant role in regional security, development, and prosperity. In conclusion, let me reiterate my delight at sharing this historic moment and to reaffirm to you, Mr. President, and the people of Somalia, of Kenya's commitment to continue walking side by side with your government in ensuring security, prosperity, and development for all our peoples and our region. Somalia, Hanolato, I thank you and God bless you. Asante sana.